Senator, I want to turn to the other breaking story tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, the president obviously saying all of this in the midst of a meeting with his national security team on a crucial decision for this country, which is whether to strike Syria with missiles and whether such a strike is imminent. Here is what he said about that. It will be met. It will be met forcefully. We're going to make a decision tonight or very shortly thereafter. And you'll be hearing the decision. But we can't let atrocities like we all witnessed, and you can see that, and it's horrible. We can't let that happen. In our world, we can't let that happen. Senator, the president said that he's going to be making a decision tonight or very shortly thereafter. Do you have any sense of how imminent this is? Could a decision and a strike come tonight? I think a decision could come very soon, and I, I know that the president will take the advice of his military commanders um, very seriously. The images that we see coming out of Syria are heartbreaking. Innocent men, women, and children have been killed and thousands of others injured in this chemical attack. We need to take that seriously here in the United States, and I do believe that the president will act soon. Uh, you know, and you, you talk about those images. They are hard to watch. Uh, but. It's important for people to see them, to understand what we are talking right. about, to understand that these are human lives, these are children, these are people who have undergone horrific suffering uh, in what appears to be a chemical attack. We know at least 49 people are dead, many more injured, perhaps the gas being so heavy that it sunk down into the basement where children and families were seeking refuge. Senator, uh, you know, you've served in the armed forces, you've spent a long career doing so, you've spent time in the region. Do you support another strike? I do, and I supported the president's strike last year about this same time as well. Um, it is important that when these atrocities are committed that we act swiftly, and I believe the president will do that. As a, a veteran, as a, the chairwoman of the Emerging Threats and Capabilities Subcommittee of the Armed Services Committee, it is important to understand what is going on in Syria, and then also what are the connections with Iran and Russia. Those are also some of my concerns. They continue to prop up up the our al-Assad regime, and we, we can't have them involved in this region, especially when we see that they are not following through with getting rid of chemical weapons in Syria. Um, we can't continue to see these types of deaths occur in an innocent civilian population. Senator Ernst, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thanks, Sarah, and thank you.